What's up everybody, Manny from Motor Million here. Today I'm gonna to walk around on 650 Eves 9 Build Series bike. It's an honor to have this bike here before it goes off to its new owner. And let's start off with it. As you can see, the theme on this bike is black and red, and I think it's played off really well. All the way back here, we got the red Brembo brake caliper. This is a stock rear caliper that was painted by King David to match the front calipers, which you'll see in a second. And we're running the MM Racing Ultra Light rear brake rotors. One thing that's special about this bike, if not, if not the whole thing obviously, but these wheels. These ThyssenKrupp wheels, and yes, it is pronounced ThyssenKrupp, are end of the line production. So there's no more ThyssenKrupp wheels for motorcycles as they want to take on new adventures. And these are so beautiful. I wish that wasn't the news I was giving you, but this bike's wheels are special in that sense. And we've utilized the SC Project CRT muffler or the slip-on and it's made it to the Kropovich full titanium header and the midpipe, as you see, it's been enjoyed on the dyno and on the road, so it's blued out really nicely. The rear sets are from Lightech. I kind of like it that it has a breakup of the rear sets from the frame with the silver piece here. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but the frame also has machine pieces that are silver that I think it ties up really well. One difference that you can see on this bike is that it no longer has those brownish, bronzish engine case covers. It has the M1000RR's case covers, which are silver. It cleans up the look from the color, color scheme of this bike so that it really starts to play off with that black and red theme that we have. We have TWM oil filler cap with the cam inspection plug. We've used the Protype black titanium bolts and we have the Litec frame sliders. I think these are the most stealth frame sliders that there is. Until I looked over, I kind of had forgotten that they were there, but they're beautiful pieces by Lightech made in Italy. We're running the Shark Fin by Full Six. We're running the Full Six Street Belly Pan. I might have mentioned what the differences are in another video, but we get this question a lot. The biggest difference between the race and the street version is if you peek through over here, you have the hole for the cat, which also allows all the water and everything to run through. And this piece is open over here. Other than that, they're pretty much the same shape as the race belly pan. It gives this bike the beautiful look that it needs because as you know, when you put an exhaust on it, this whole bottom piece is open. You have this beautiful carbon piece that gives it that finished look. Also, you could peek through and see your blue titanium headers under there. We have the full six frame covers. And right above it is the badge holders. This piece here, all of these pieces are black plastic on this bike that we've changed, just like the tank side panels that are on this bike and the upper tank cover that's right up here and we're running our trusted Rizoma Reservoirs the RCS 17 Corsa Corta master cylinder with our favorite bleeder valves by Stalbus one thing that's special on this bike that again it blends in so well that we always forget is the 650 Eve logo upper triple the ones that you'll get from TWM won't have the 650 Eve logo but they were kind enough to provide us one with 650 on right on there and we're using their red steering stem nut we have jet primes throttle control unit just a note with these throttle controls some of the newer bikes have a different shaped throttle housing that they do not fit anymore as long as your throttle housing is completely round this will fit on it and you'll see it on the product page we're running the performance technologies lever guards on the clutch and brake side we really like these pieces because they're weighted them being weighted helps with the buzzing on the handlebars. Another piece by TWM is the fuel caps that you'll see on every single bike that we build. Quarter turn opens up, you fill up, you put it back in. The Rizoma mirrors, the favorite piece for the S1000RR owners, I think. These things are so cool, you've seen it, they're aero wings. They provide downforce when you want them to, or you can use them as your mirrors. And when you use these, you delete your turn signals on your mirrors. And we use the NRC turn signals in the front. These things, again, they blend in, they look sleek. And also, the most important thing that people can actually see your turn signals when you use these. Right up here, we have the WRS racing windscreen. And right under it, we have the intake air nose piece. That's carbon fiber. And Obviously the winglets, the M1000RR winglets. I must have mentioned this before. There are a lot of M1000RR winglets that are replicas that are not the exact replica. 
These winglets are one-to-one -one exact of the M1000RR winglets, which means number one, they look proper, they fit really nicely on the bike, and also the most important thing is it gives you the downforce that they were intended to give to the bike. Right up front, this was the piece that I talked about when I showed you the rear calipers, the front Brembo Stylema calipers. These are now available by Brembo for us for the S1000RR so that you can run the red calipers and we have our full six brake cooling ducts right up front. They're also available in black and red, which is inverted. So the caliper is black and the logo is red. And the theme continues on this side of the bike, on the other side of the bike with the black and red. I think it looks beautiful. I haven't seen an S1000RR in this color scheme with this many parts on it and this tasteful. We have our Samco hoses in red. And if you peek through right here, you'll see the Performance Technologies line cooler. These are extra cooling pieces for your coolant. They are verified to run the bike much cooler than it usually does without it. You can make more power because it's running cooler. And th again, this is the light tech frame sliders. This is the piece on the left side. And we have that cam cover inspection bolt that goes on this side as well of the alternator case cover, which is the M1000RR cover, the silver one with the black pro tie bolts. One of my favorite mod mods on an S1000RR, the Alpha Racing Quick Shifter. It makes this shifter to be the nicest shifter I think that's on any super bike. The Quick Shifter on this bike is beautiful from the factory, but the biggest issue I have with it is the spongy feeling. This gets rid of it, makes the shifting a lot more responsive and also a lot more direct. And we have our full six swing arm covers right here. It has that shark fin piece on it as well. We're using the TWM chain adjusters. These things click when you turn to adjust them. You could count your clicks, but we always recommend to adjust them by the adjusting marks on there. They're precision machine, so you know that your adjustment is going to be correct on both sides. We're running these red spools to run this beautiful carbon fiber rear stand on the bike. And the 520 conversion kit, the SIDA 520 conversion kit, it is the lightest setup that we have available. It is aluminum, but it has an oxide coating on it as well, and it's hardened, so it lasts longer than a regular aluminum rear sprocket and we have our NRC tail tidy kit our favorite tail tidy kit that there is and if you look around you see all the carbon fiber up here as well the black plastic parts were changed by the full six the lower tail and upper tail section and we have the seat cowl as well so overall this is the 650 build bike number nine as noted here with the beautiful Louis Moda seat cover if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Some lucky winner is going to take this home and call it their bike. And you could probably watch all that stuff on 650 Eve's YouTube channel. Let me start this bike off so that you guys can hear it. sounds absolutely beautiful I'm not gonna make too much noise maybe on another video you'll see the full just sound clip of this bike thank you for watching guys and thank you for your support <laughs>